What's cracking, my gamesters? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Nintendo Entertainment System F-Zero. We're gonna go ahead and do the Grand Prix. Pick the same guy last time. Acceleration is not as important as max speed in this game. Last time we did the Night League, got first place in all the races. Let's see if we can't do the same thing for the Queen League, huh? Mute City 2. Set. And go! Now, I think there's a way to do a boost that I'm sure everyone's like, Adam, if you press it at this time, you get a boost like in Mario Kart. And I think I used to know how to do it. That's why I'm remembering it slightly, but I haven't taken the time to relook up how to do it. Figure it out. Alright. Here we go. Make my fucking move. Yeah, first place. What's up, bitches? You can't fuck with this motherfucker. Uh, na 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 na, make him say, uh, uh, na 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 na. Fuck a bitch in a fucking football helmet race car. Let me get my godly healing there and continue on with the race. Three motherfucking laps left. <laughs> yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Fuck. That is not what the fuck I wanted to do. What the fuck is this shit? Who the fuck puts ramps in the middle of a goddamn raceway anyway? Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, it's like, yeah, oh, you want to do 380 kilometers an hour? Here, let me put this motherfucking ramp right in the middle of the goddamn race car way. Imagine if they did that shit in NASCAR or fucking F1 racing. They're fucking going 200 miles an hour down the back stretch, and all of a sudden there's a motherfucking ramp in the middle of the goddamn road. Imagine what would happen to an F1 fucking car going 200 miles an hour and hit a fucking ramp in the middle of the road. I mean, you're talking fucking... It, that motherfucker would take off like a goddamn airplane, flip up into the air, and halfway in the air fucking disintegrate into about 6,000 fucking pieces. And that would just be the front end. Fuck, and if I can't get my fucking head together here and start steering this cockamamie pink piece of shit in the right direction, I'm gonna be fucking last place in all the races, and we aren't we gonna fucking see the end of the game. Jesus fucking Christ. Get the fuck out of my way, helmet head. Alright, around this corner, I'm gonna make my fucking turbo brake because this asshole's right on my fucking nutsack. Alright, there we go. First motherfucking place. I can handle that. I can handle that. Port Town 1. And go! Oh, this is this cockamamie one. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is the first uh, section of the game that actually involves ramps jumping over open sections of track. Um, as you can probably guess, if you leave this track, your vehicle instantaneously vaporizes. Um, and you get to start all the way over. So, yeah, we're going to try to not do that today. Uh, as you can see, a little bit of a shorter lap, though, huh? What was that, a 29-second lap? So, shouldn't be too long of a race on this one, then. As long as I can keep my concentration up and not fucking slam it into these vacuum lines here. They, like, suck your fucking race car into them. And you take damage when you hit it. Just like the side, the edges. You take damage if you hit the edges of the track. So, the point is to not hit the yellow side or red side or green or wherever the fuck color it happens to be on whatever the fuck racetrack you happen to be on. And yeah, I'd like to take this time to say that uh, I feel really bad for all the victims down there at that school shooting that happened yesterday. Um, Christ, man, 26 kids? 26 kids? Man, what the hell, man? 
Why couldn't you have, like, gone up into the goddamn Congress and shot them the fuck up? Instead, you gotta go into a school full of kids that haven't done shit to nobody and fucking kill them. It makes no goddamn sense. You know? No goddamn sense. And this close to Christmas? Fucking A, man. Some sick fucking people out there. I, uh... I actually drive a school bus for, for a living, and, uh... I can just imagine if one of those students got on my school bus and started shooting us up. You know, I, I fucking, I got little tiny fucking kids that strap, in, strap into the seat they're so little. You gotta fucking buckle them into the bus. You know, most buses don't have seat belts, so that's how little these fucking kids are. I mean, if someone came up in my shit and started shooting, we'd be fucked. But anyway, on to a lighter note. First place in the second race of the second series. Number three, Red Canyon one. Let's see what the fuck we can do here. And... Jump it. Yeah, look at the acceleration on that yellow one, man. I mean, he literally is like 20 car lengths ahead, right off the bat. And see, that shit happens when you select that car. You hit it, you're right in front right away. But then the entire fucking race, you're battling the pink and the green asshole. The blue guy don't give you too much of trouble. Captain Falcon or whatever the fuck his name is, because they all have drivers apparently in them. In the book, in the in the instruction booklet, there's pictures of the driver of each one. They're all from like different planets and shit. My guy is some like intergalactic thief style something, but he's like from Japan and he wears like a jap. He looks like a white fat dude with aviator glasses and an aviator helmet, but with a Japanese flag on the top of the helmet and uh, I don't know some sort of F Zero version of Boba Fett or, or Job of the Hut, I mean, you know, like an intergalactic space collector, thief, whatever person. And, uh. Yeah. That shit makes me nervous. But yeah, it's kind of neat to see the, the storyline behind everything. It actually was pretty, pretty, you know, in depth. They had, like, a little comic book that was in the front of the instruction booklet, if I remember correctly kind of said like a pre-story or whatever to the race to kind of let you know what everyone was doing in the in the story um, yeah maybe I can find some screenshots for that for the uh, third and last series of this of this game oh! holy fuck we all know we've been waiting for that Little did we know what was going to happen the fuck like that. Did you just fucking see that? That corner came up. That ramp came up out of nowhere. I barely missed the ramp, but it hopped me up a little bit in the air. We bounced off football head and up over the fucking guardrail. Jesus Christ. We're going to go ahead and try again. Now, that doesn't count against your first place streak for some reason in this game. As long as you're continuing and not starting over, we still technically will win first place in all the races. If, obviously, I can somehow win first in this one. We're going to take this one a little more wide, I think. Wow, that shit gets vicious, don't it? Just fucking vicious, man. That motherfucker's meant business there. I gotta try to get around Bluehead here. Make my fucking break for it on the straightaway. It's like your only fucking chance in this fucking course. Ugh. God damn, those come up so quick. You know what? We might just stay away from ramps as much as possible. Okay, I gotta hold this rank and we'll be just fine. But they always make a break for it on that last fucking lap. Like, the computer boosts the speed of its NPCs and all of a sudden they become super aggressive and race faster than you've ever raced them before. That's one thing about old games that I hated was like the way the programming worked like you know in Mortal Kombat and games like that like the first couple guys would be like nerfed so easy it was ridiculous and by the time you got to the final boss the computer AI would be so well programmed to like counteract any move that you have with 100% flawless act 
accuracy that you couldn't even like throw a punch or a kick without it like instantly knowing you hit that button, ducking and sweeping you or ducking and uppercutting you or jumping in the air and you know fist punching you like I don't know fist punch yeah what the fuck is a fist punch aren't all fist punches punch fist punches I don't know never fucking mind it is fucking early in the morning and we're playing F Zero and that's all the fuck that matters we're going 460 kilometers an hour at five in the fucking morning who else fucking does that shit nobody that's who God, I'm retarded. Alright, here we go. Yeah! What, bitches? From last to first? Who's the worst? Not total, that's for sure. Fuck it. Fuck it with a broomstick in the anus. Ba -ba -na -na. Ba -ba -na -na. Yeah! Next race, White Land One. Or I. Just kidding. I'm not that uncultured, YouTube. I know Roman numerals when I see them. Maybe. Alright. This is fucking. Obviously, as you can tell, uh, White Land is obviously Snow Land. Um, but. I think every fucking video game that has snow in it calls their snow area snow land, so... They, uh, got really original and decided to call it white land. I don't know fucking why. I mean, I don't even see the color white anywhere here. Oh, wait, the entire screen's fucking white. Ah, uh, okay. I guess it's better than the whole screen being fucking black like in my Minecraft videos. Fucking A, dude. I'll tell you right now, I've got the, uh, settings and the brightness turned up finally, so uh, that shouldn't happen anymore in my Minecraft videos. Hopefully you don't have to stare at five minutes of fucking me poking at blocks in the dark. I mean, as much as that mimics my actual life, poking around in the fucking dark, not knowing what the fuck I'm doing, I, I know it's not that exciting to watch, so we're gonna make sure that the brightness levels are turned up in all my videos from now on. But yeah, if you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. I'd like to take this time out to say hi to Lucas, my friend, who uh, supports me in this. He watches all my videos. If you're out there, Lucas, thank you for being my video game friend growing up. He used to sit for hours and watch me play Final Fantasy III in my parents' basement. Lock myself down in there like a dungeon put Final Fantasy 3 on and fucking lay waste to Kefka. Yeah, those were the fucking days. I failed out of 8th grade and had to go to summer school because of Final Fantasy 3. I literally spent every waking minute doing that instead of homework. And I got so many F's in 8th grade, they made me take fucking summer school. I passed summer school. I mean, obviously, I'm a fucking genius, so I never had a problem. I just wanted to play video games. I was, fuck school. Who the fuck wants to go to school? You know, but now I drive giant vehicles for a living because I'm fucking too stupid to be a doctor, right? Ah, oh, oh fuck it, man! I'm too stupid to play this game too, apparently. Oh, rank two. All right, we're back in it. We're back in it. Gotta concentrate. All right, no more life stories until I'm done with the fucking game. All right, guys, Jesus, you fucking distracted me. There I go again. Oh, you fucking rad bastard, motherfucker. All right. You know what? I'll take second place on that. That was entirely my fault. I fucked that one up terrible. Terrible, terrible. So, yeah, that's my fault. That is my goddamn fault. Oh, look. White Land 2. Apparently the guys in R&D fucking ran out of fucking names. Fucking White Land 1. White Land 2. It's also the first time in this game that uh, they reuse a name twice in a row on a single track. Circuit series. Weird, huh? And as you can guess, this is just a fucking much harder version of the last one we just lost. So, fuck, if I got second in the fucking easy one, what the fuck is gonna happen to me in this one? And 
This is also the last racetrack of the series! Oh, Jesus, you gotta be fucking kidding me. We just jumped the fucking Grand Canyon there, everybody. Holy fuck, Tarts, that was nuts. Alright, there's Mr. Fucking Hot Dog there. You know, it sucks that the guy in first place is always that yellow car. I just thought about that. The other colors are never in fucking first place. It's always just him. Which would make you think that he'd be the guy to be, you know? Oh, the fucking yellow one's the best. The fucker's always in first place in the, in the game. But it's like, nah. You pick him for yourself? Yeah, you'll be in first for the first ten seconds. And the motherfuckers will all be passing you because they do this with their high speed. Alright, right by ya. Alright, so we took the lead. Now, can I not fuck it up? I'm doubting it. Highly fucking doubting it. We're just gonna take purposeful damage on them fucking extendo corners there. Stay in front of fucking dipshit here. Oh, fuck, that was close. Alright. Can I fucking do that two more times with the pressure behind me? I don't know, man. He is fucking on me. Fucking football fucking motherfucker. That's how you do that, bitches. No, no, no. You stay behind me, motherfucker. I'm like... Bitch, check your ass. That's right. Stay on the fucking throttle. Alright, no more football helmet collisions. We don't need a goddamn episode like the last one where I'm fucking flying off into the city. Oh, there we go. Get on fucked. Now I'm fucked. Might as well fucking call an end to this fucking race. Or not. Shit! Alright, alright, alright. Can we do it? Can we pull it out? Can we pull it out? Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my fucking lord. First place. Now, had I paid attention in the last fucking race, we would have fucking probably gotten first in all of them. I'll take first in all of them except one. We had rank number two in one race, the other four, first place. Our overall rank was number one, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So, thank you for tuning in, my gamesters. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos, and until next time, stay up, my gamesters. Peace!